If there's one thing that's clear enough, though, it's that people should be able to be safe in their workplaces, and that people should be able to state a view without being intimidated for their beliefs, women in particular. Now, as you know, I'm not a huge fan of the United Nations, which sometimes features dictatorships lecturing to democracies about human rights and keeps telling us there's a climate emergency to bully countries like ours into pointlessly weakening our economies by allowing a giant like China to open new coal-fired power stations on an almost weekly basis. But Reem Absalom, the UN Special Rapporteur on Violence Against Women and Girls, yesterday issued an important statement. I am concerned, she said, by the shrinking space in several countries for women and feminist organisations and their allies to gather and express themselves peacefully in demanding respect. I am disturbed, she went on, by the frequent tactics of smear campaigns against women and their allies on the basis of their beliefs. Branding them as Nazis or extremists is a means of attack and intimidation with the purpose of deterring women from speaking. Sweeping restrictions, she said, on the ability of women and men to raise concerns regarding the scope of rights based on gender identity and sex are, she said, in violation of the fundamentals of freedom of thought and expression and amount to unjustified or blanket censorship. Of particular concern, the UN Special Rapporteur said, are the various forms of reprisals against women. In some cases, women politicians are sanctioned by their political parties, including through the threat of dismissal or actual dismissal. Now, I wonder there who the UN Special Rapporteur had in mind. Could it be more redeeming? The Victorian MP just expelled recently from the Parliamentary Liberal Party for standing up for women's rights to their own safe spaces without the presence of biological males. Normally, UN statements referencing Australia get wall-to-wall -wall media coverage, don't they? Especially on the ABC. Now, I wonder why this classic statement of the rights of women and a clear alarm at what's happening, not in some third world country, right here in Australia, in Melbourne, isn't getting more coverage.